Here at Swiss Watch Expo, I'm here to explain to you how to operate your watch. One of the watches that we see most misunderstood is the manual wind chronograph, but more importantly, just the chronograph itself. Now, one of the things that we should understand about this watch, most people want that seconds hand, the large seconds hand moving around that dial constantly. But with these particular watches, that's not the best thing to do because these things operate on a mechanical wind, a mechanical internal, it's not a battery. So this seconds hand can be problematic for the power reserve. In other words, when you wind this watch, whether it's an automatic or a manual, this happens to be a manual watch, it eats into the power reserve. So a watch that may go up to 40 hours without being wound, with the chronograph moving, may only go for 26 to 32 hours before it stops moving. Therefore, you're going to have to wind this watch more often. Now, with this particular Omega, you do not have to move this crown. You don't have to unscrew it. You don't have to pull it out. All you do is wind it in place. Now, this is important. Manual wind watches have a stopping point. So when you turn that crown, I'm gonna run my finger underneath it and you can hear if you turn the volume up, you can hear that movement clicking. That's telling you that the watch is winding. Now, this is important because once this crown stops moving, that watch is fully wound. If it's an automatic watch, you can continue to keep moving that crown and it will not stop. It won't hurt the watch on an automatic. On a manual wind, once it stops, you should stop winding because you can actually break the winding mechanism if you don't. Some people are very scared to do this, so when they hit that bump for the first time, they're afraid they've overdone it. All you have to do is develop the feel for it. They're fairly tough. You just need to find the stopping point. And once it gets to that stopping point, you'll, in the future, you'll get a much better feel as to where that might be. Now, each day you wanna wind this watch. Probably about 15 or 20 times that's not a hardcore thing. What we always tell people with manual wind watches, do not go by the amount of winds. You simply turn it till it stops. It could be more one day. It could be less one day. It just depends on when the last time you wound your watch. Now, so we've wound this watch fully. We want to see this seconds hand go. The chronograph works like this. This is the start stop feature. So it starts that chronograph in motion. You can see it here and then it stops that motion. You can see it there. This button resets the chronograph like this. You see that seconds hand jump back and reset. So let's start it. That's going to continue to keep moving around the dial until you stop it. Now, one of the other things that you should know about this watch the main seconds hand is here. This is the one you see moving on the dial right now. That's the main seconds hand for the time of the watch. This is the seconds hand, the long seconds hand, for the chronograph feature only. It does not affect the hour hand or the minute hand. So you have hour hand, minute hand, seconds hand, which you see currently moving here. The other collectors are the minutes and the hours. So every time this goes around one time, you collect one minute on this dial. Every time this dial goes around one time, this dial moves one click for an hour. In this particular case, start. And stop. On some watches, this represents one hour and this represents one click is one hour. On this watch, 30 minutes, and then 30 minutes again is an hour. And then this clicks by one hour. Just a little bit different. It is the Omega Moon Watch. This just happens to be one of the ones in our inventory. It's the Moon Watch and it has the Moon Rover on the back, which I think is pretty cool, the 40th anniversary, just so that you know which one we've got in our hands. If you have other questions, find us at SwissWatchExpo.com.